Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the forecast discussion for Wednesday, June 14th, 2017. It's currently 9 a.m. and the heat is gone. It is going away. It is being pushed to the south. You can say goodbye to temperatures in the 90s, even 101 degrees in LaGuardia. That's impressive. And it's uh, it was a bit above what I was expecting, to be honest, especially in LaGuardia. I did not think 101 degrees, but there it is, and there's a new record. Uh, but that hot and humid weather pattern is done, it's gone, and the treat for the rest of the week, how about temperatures in the 60s on Long Island? Upper 60s to lower 70s in the New York City metro. Upper 70s to lower 80s in the Philadelphia metro. That's a bit far away from upper 90s to lower 100s, wouldn't you say? And I think you deserve it after dealing with that hot and humid weather pattern it is gone. And in its place is a mix of sun and clouds, a few showers here and there, and some much cooler weather conditions. And I'm sure your energy bill will thank you as well as you could turn off that air conditioner. Currently, temperatures range from the upper 60s to lower 70s in the New York City metro, mid to upper 70s in the Philadelphia metro. Notice the winds are from the northeast at around 5 to 15 miles per hour. Basically, what you see here is pretty much what you're going to get for the rest of the day. Temperatures aren't going to be rising all that much. We're going to look for upper 60s to lower 70s over Long Island for highs, lower to mid 70s along the coast, and upper 70s to lower 80s in the Philadelphia Metro and Delaware River Valley for the rest of the day for high temperatures as our cold front continues to sink to the south. That cold front is currently pushing through southern New Jersey and the Philadelphia Metro, and we'll continue to push south, and we'll be south of New Jersey and Pennsylvania by the time we get to noon today. And with that cold front dropping south, we do have a few showers and even a few thunderstorms here that are pushing south through New Jersey. Nothing severe, but these thunderstorms are going to be capable of some heavy downpours and isolated to occasional lightning strike and wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour. So if you're getting caught in one of these thunder showers, uh, definitely drive a little bit slower. But by the time we get to noon, any of these showers and thunderstorms will be south of the region. I can't rule out an isolated shower the rest of the day, but for the most part, the rule is going to be a mix of sun and clouds with a northeasterly wind and a noticeably cooler afternoon, especially compared to yesterday. On the infrared satellite picture, you can see that cold front boundary pushing south. Now, you might notice that this is becoming stationary back here to the west. What's going to happen is that high pressure that is currently around the Hudson Bay is going to build south and east towards the Gulf of Maine. And basically what that's going to do is going to lead to winds veering to the east. And as that happens, this cold front will drop south, but this portion of the frontal boundary will basically stall out and basically bisect the, uh, Pennsylvania and cut back towards Maryland. So you're going to kind of end up with this bowl-shaped scenario right here with this frontal boundary. And that's pretty much going to linger over the next 48 hours in that same location, leading to support for a mix of sun and clouds, and also a threat for scattered uh, to isolated showers over the region for the end of the week. That same frontal boundary will push back towards the region as a warm front, making for a rather unsettled day on Saturday. So let's dive into this forecast. For this afternoon, again, that high pressure system pushes south. Still a threat for a few isolated showers in the afternoon, but overall a mix of sun and clouds. Temperatures will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s on Long Island, lower to mid 70s in the New York City metro, and upper 70s to lower 80s in the Philadelphia metro. For this evening, a mix of sun and clouds. Again, I can't, I can't rely on isolated shower, but for the most part, most locations will be dry heading into tomorrow morning with lows in the upper 50s to lower 60s. For tomorrow afternoon, scattered cloud cover to broken cloud cover is expected with an isolated shower or two possible towards the afternoon hours. Look for high temperatures to range from the upper 60s to lower 70s on Long Island, lower to mid 70s along the coast and in the New York City metro, and upper 70s to lower 80s in the Philadelphia metro. On Friday, a little bit better threat for some scattered showers, but overall, most locations will have this mix of sun and clouds, Look for temperatures to range from the upper 50s to lower 60s for lows. High temperatures will range from the upper 60s to lower 70s on the coast, including Long Island, and mid to upper 70s in the Philadelphia metropolitan area. 
On Saturday, that warm front will start to push through the region with scattered showers, possibly a few thunderstorms, a rather unsettled day. Temperatures will range from the mid to upper 60s for lows. High temperatures will range from the lower to mid 70s on Long Island, upper 70s to lower 80s in the New York City metro, the New Jersey coast, and also the Delaware River Valley. On Sunday, that warm front will be to the north and east of the region with more of a humid weather pattern and a bit unsettled. Now that's going to lead to, again, a mix of sun and clouds, but also the threat for some isolated showers and thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon hours. Temperatures will range from the mid-60s to lower 70s for lows. High temperatures will range from the lower to mid-70s over Long Island, upper 70s to lower 80s along the New Jersey coast and the New York City metro, and lower to mid-80s in the Philadelphia metro and Delaware River Valley. On Monday, a cold front will move through the, through the region in the afternoon and evening hours with widespread showers and thunderstorms. Could be looking at anywhere from a half an inch to an inch of rain from these showers and thunderstorms. So there is potential for some localized flash flooding with this cold front moving through. Temperatures will range from the upper 60s to mid 70s for lows with that more humid air mass in place. High temperatures, though, will range from the mid to upper 70s on Long Island, upper 70s to lower 80s in the Philadelphia and New York City metros, including all of the Delaware River Valley. On Tuesday, that cold front will exit the region. A few isolated showers possible in the morning, followed by clearing skies in the afternoon. Look for lows in the mid-60s, highs in the mid-70s on Long Island, and upper 70s to lower 80s for the rest of the region. And on Wednesday, high pressure and control with scattered cloud cover is expected. Low temperatures in the upper 50s to lower 60s. High temperatures in the mid-70s on Long Island and upper 70s to lower 80s for the rest of the region. It's going to be a wonderful, wonderful, cool weather pattern. I guess you could tell I'm not really a big fan of heat. That is your forecast discussion for today. Thank you for following NYNJPA weather. And as always, stay safe out there.